Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Today I am running the third beta that has been publicly released. This is build um, ending in ZRKP. So this one right here is the third beta that's been released um, for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And I wanted to talk about the navigation gestures. Um, I wasn't using this in the leaked builds or the previous builds because I was having some issues with them in some of the apps where if there was a text box, um, when I hit that and the keyboard came up, it would the keyboard would cover the text box and that would only happen when I was using the navigation gestures. Um, I found that issue has been corrected in most apps now um, that this beta is out publicly. Um, but for your navigation gestures, you have a couple options here. So if you pop into your screen settings and go to your nav uh, navigation bar settings, you can, um, you can obviously still use your regular home button and everything down there like you would before. Or you can turn on navigation gestures. And you still have the uh, option to customize the button order. So if I want my Recents app to be on the left right here, I can turn that on. Or if I want my back button to be on the left right there, you can still flip that around right there in the button order section. Another thing um, you have that you can customize when your gestures are on are the gesture hints. So you can see right there on the bottom when I turn that on, you get the little bars down there so you can kind of see where your home and back buttons are, which I find very useful, um, especially if you're just starting to use the gestures. You can kind of learn where to swipe on the screen for each one of those um, actions. If you want to go back, if you want to go home, whatever it may be, it kind of teaches you where they are. So I, I have left that on um, for a while. You probably can turn that off after a few days after you learn kind of what does what and where everything is. But I leave it here so the back button's on the left and everything like that. Back button on the left, recent apps on the right, just like stock Android. And it, it, it is working pretty well now. Um, I'm not having too many issues. I still have a couple apps where uh, the keyboard will randomly cover the text box and stuff like that. But in this new build, the gestures are pretty smooth and pretty fast. I noticed a couple builds ago they were kind of iffy on the speed. When you would swipe, there would be a little bit of a delay between the action actually occurring. Um, I have found that that is a lot better now and everything is a lot more smoother and um, it responds faster overall. But that is the gestures. Um, this is build CRKP, as I said. This is the Samsung One UI Android P build on the Galaxy S9 Plus. And this is Colin with TechOut. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.